hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel samsung a30s came in for charging repair all right so we are going to see how we can troubleshoot this together and detect the problem and probably solve the problem all right without wasting much time let's plug in the charger and let's see how the phone behaves all right ladies and gentlemen if you're here for the first time don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell icon and ladies and gentlemen i will advise you not to skip any part of this video because you're going to learn a lot from this video today all right so pay attention and see how we get this sorted all right so the charger has been inserted into the phone actually the this samsung phone is using a uh, type c usb port but there is no sign of charging at all but when we power on the phone the phone powers on do you understand the phone powers on and i'm going to show you the percentage that this phone has right now all right so guys let's go right into the video without wasting much time let's go let's go right look at the top corner is having zero percent all right it's having zero percent that means the phone is not charging at all so we are going to see how we can troubleshoot troubleshoot this step by step okay pay attention and don't miss any part of this video i bet you are going to get a lot on this video today all right so let's open up the the frame the back cover all right and the next thing we are going to do is to uh, get our meter all right we need to get our meter that's the first thing we are going to use this is going to help us to uh, troubleshoot this problem all right and as we can see a meter is very important if you're a technician and you don't know how to use a multimeter you need to learn all right i'm going to make a video on how to use that very very soon all right as you can see i have removed the flexing and this part take a closer look this part and that part that's where we're going to be putting our probes our meter probes while inserting the cable all right so um let's do this now putting your multimeter on dc mode dc mode dc mode means direct current mode right so you put your black probe on left and the red on the right right and as you can see we are having 5.2 volts from our multimeter reading which shows that the charging system the charging system is okay and is is taking current right to where we've just uh measured the, the the current flowing in or the voltage flowing in into the downboard side all right <clears throat> excuse me because this belt or you call this flexing is is the conveyor of the voltage to the main board all right look at this where these places i'm touching that is the v bus line those are the v bus line the negative and positive so we need to check if the voltage is getting into this flexing cable or into this flex cable or into this ribbing cable any way you call it all right so let's take a reading from this flex cable putting your probes on the edges of where i just showed you and as you can see we've got also 5.2 volts which is a very very good reading all right so because this uh flex takes the uh the voltage to the main board all right we can see this is where we just measured on the left and right part of that flexing cable this is where it is connected on the main pcb all right so what we are going to do right now guys let's scratch let's scratch the the vibos line on the on this side let's scratch it and let's take a reading while the the flex is being connected to the main board okay so you can see that port i'm pointing that's the vibos line that's where the vibos line goes to on the main board okay so i'm just gonna scratch the side so that i can take a, a, a proper reading from the flex as we've as we've seen that the voltage uh reach onto the downboard and the voltage reach onto the flexing cable or the flex cable all right but now we need to take readings while the flex is being connected to the main board to see if the voltage is really getting uh onto this uh, main 
board okay this main board we are going to take reading with our multimeter right now while the charger is being plugged in and the flexing cable is being clipped right onto the main board all right guys make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel right now all right all right let's plug in the charger let's plug in our charger so we can take a reading exactly where i scratched that's where we are going to take our reading all right so that's where we are taking our reading from all right let's take our reading right now all right without wasting much time where are my probes let's go all right the black probe on ground ground gnd ground and the red probe on where i just scratched but you might be saying your 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 probe is thick i don't see what you are reading okay let's insert the pin let's insert the pin into the cable you can get a pin office pin or this type of pin i'm using right now and um, so you can be able to touch exactly so before we we, we we read the main board again let's take a reading on on the sub board okay on the sub board to see if the pin is really reading yeah that means the pin is fine so let's go back to the main pcb all right and take our reading all right putting the black on the on gnd and putting the pin on where i scratched let's look at the meter and let's see the reading it has no reading that the zero we are having 0, 0 0.0 reading that means the voltage is not getting onto the main PCB. The voltage is not getting onto the main PCB. Now, I want you to take a look at something. Look at this metallic part here. That's the negative and there is where it's going. And this side, all right, supposed to enter that place. But as you can see, that part, there is a, there is a metallic stuff that that thing is touching on the main PCB. It's something like this on this other side, but it's no more there. Can you see what I'm saying? It's no more there. That is what is getting the VBUS line right onto the main PCB. That part onto that part has been stripped off. Okay, this might be due to every fall of the phone. If the phone falls so heavily, this type of things can just pull out on their own. All right. So what we are going to do right now, since we've seen where the problem is, the problem is that the VBUS line is not conveying enough voltage or is conveying zero voltage onto the main board so we are going to scratch the vibus line on the flex cable that's right right there we are going to yeah we've scratched it right now so we are going to make a jumper from that to the main board but before we do that let's test this again to see that there is uh enough voltage getting onto the main flex where we just scratched just confirm this is the vibus line so let me show you guys all right let's take a reading the charger has been plugged in oh oh sorry let me let me let me swap my probes the black sh pla black probe should go to the ground and the red probe so you as you can see where i just scratched now that's the vibus line on that flex cable okay that's the vibus line is giving us a good reading 5.1 5.2 thereabout okay that means that is a very good place to make a jumper all right that's a very good place to make a jump as you, as you can see i have scratched there and you remember that part i already scratched as well so we are going to make a jumper from this part <clears throat> to that side of the flex of the of the main pcb where i scratched all right ladies and gentlemen i this is where i get my jumper wire from is from an headphone uh i i ripped it off and i get as you can see those wires are coated with plastics roundabout so they are insulated so this is what i'm going to use and i want you to pay attention on what i'm going to do all right so first i'm going to double i'm going to double this this jumper wire and the reason i'm doubling it and i'm still going to double it again after i have done this okay let me tell you the reason why i am doing this all right we need the reason why i'm doubling it is because we need enough amps to or we need enough amps on the vbus line to the main pcb do you understand guys we need enough amp amp is the power at which the phone charges all right the the the, the amps is the power at which the the charger supplies voltage right into 
your phone all right so we need more power on that place because the original part is off so as you can see i have doubled it again which makes it more thicker which makes it more thicker and as i said earlier this jumper wire is insulated with some it's, it's insulated that's just it so i'm scratching with the razor blade or with the razor however you can call it i'm scratching out the plastics around you have to strip off those plastics on it so this is how i do mine all right so if you have a way in which you do yours it's very important and now what next is to apply flux on where we are going to solder those jumper uh where we are going to solder the jumper wire we need to apply flux on where we are going to solder the jumper wire and just i want you to pay attention right now all right pay attention and why do we use flux we use the flux so that the soldering can be smooth all right so that we don't have a scattered uh soldering or uh, or abnormalities on the on the on the joints where we are soldering to all right so to make it more smooth and more easier we need to apply the flux first and now we've made a uh, lead on the flexing cable now we are going to apply flux again on on the main board on the vibos line on the main board where we have scratched and we are going to apply lead also right there all right so just pay attention and watch how i am doing this okay all right as you can see i have i've soldered some lead so make it clean and don't rush when you are doing this don't rush don't rush it's very important you don't rush okay it's very important you don't rush ladies and gentlemen make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing tips and tricks all right now i'm applying flux on that i i love applying flux a lot because it helps my soldering uh makes my soldering neat okay when i solder it's it neat and it doesn't stress me okay so i apply it right there and i'm going to solder the first jumper uh the, the first leg on the main pcb on the side where i scratched earlier on okay so <clears throat> i'm applying the flux on the other tip i mean the other hand of the jumper wire okay now i'm going to clip the main p uh the main uh the flex on the main pcb so i can access the other joints which i'm going to connect my jumper wire onto i hope you guys are learning one or two things all right this this method is applicable on all samsung phones that has that this type of flexing conveying the vibos line onto the main pcb if the line is missing or in this video you can see the vibos line is missing okay there's an open circuit all right so now the jumper has been made as you can see let me show you closely right there as you can see the jumper is neatly neatly made neatly made all right it's neatly made all right so make sure you insulate after you are done jumpering all right but before that let me just test and see if the phone is going to charge let's see Woo! ladies and gentlemen can you see that all right just hit a like hit that like button for this hit that like button for this before it wasn't showing it was it wasn't showing any charging uh sign but now after uh the jumper wire after the the problem has been uh discovered then a jumper wire was made on the open circuit area on the v bus line and now the phone is charging as you can see it was on zero percent earlier i showed you so let's wait for a few minutes and let's see how many percent we can have so you don't say oh you just we don't know even if, if the phone is increasing let's see it together all right i fast forwarded this video already so um just to just not to waste your time all right so right now let's try and check and see how many vo how many percent how many percent we have oh my god can you see that one percent beautifully 
done ladies and gentlemen please hit that like button and subscribe let's wait one more time and see how many percent now it's two percent again thank you so much for watching see you in the next video peace